hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t cubed minus t square equals to 48 and we solve this problem for the values of t so uh, here we need to focus into the right hand side and in the right hand side we have this is 48 so we rewrite this equation as t cubed minus t square equal to this is 48 and we break this 48 as 64 minus 16 okay because 64 minus 16 becomes here 48 and now uh, here we need little bit simplifications here and it will be written as t cubed minus t square equals to this is 64 we write it as 4 cubed minus this is 16 we write it as 4 squared okay so further in the next step we move the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed we make the pair of this t cubed with 4 cubed so this is the positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 4 cubed and here we have this is minus t square this is minus 4 square when we move in the left hand side it will becomes plus 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now in the next step we have this is t cubed minus 4 cubed into here we will take common negative uh, 1 and after taking common this we will get here t square minus 4 square is equals to 0 and uh, in the next step uh, here we uh, uh, we need a two nice algebraic formula uh, you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and here we apply another formula on this term we know that uh, if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of uh, a minus b times of a plus b so we need these two formulas to solve the above equation so here in the first term we use here the cubic formula and in the second term uh, we will use here the square formula okay so first we apply uh, this cubic formula on this term and after applying this uh, our this term is written as first we have a minus b here our a is t and b is 4 into a square a is t square plus a b so a is t and b is 4 plus b square b is 4 square and minus here we apply um, square identity on these terms it will be written as t minus 4 times of t plus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, both of these terms involve t minus 4 so we will take common t minus 4 from here after taking common t minus 4 we get this is t square plus 4 times of t plus this is 4 square and 4 square becomes 16 and here we take common t minus 4 and we get minus times of t plus 4 so we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus t minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we have this is t minus 4 times of uh, this is t square and this is 4t minus t becomes here 3t and this is 16 minus 4 becomes here plus 12 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write t minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 3t plus 12 is equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of t is equals to 4 and this is the our first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation for this we apply here the quadratic formula 
and uh, for this we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 3 and c is equals to 12 and we state the quadratic formula as t is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the uh, our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c here after substituting these values it will be written as t is equals to minus b the value of b is 3 plus minus square root of b square b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we have t is equals to this is minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square 3 square becomes 9 and 4 times of 12 becomes 48 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. Uh, so uh, further in the next step we have t is equals to minus 3 plus minus this is 9 minus 48 and 9 minus 48 is equals to minus 39 square root and it is divided by 2. So here we need a little bit more simplifications and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus. Here we apply the square root on minus 1 and square root on 39 and it is divided by 2. And in the next step we have this is minus 3 plus minus. We know that square root of minus 1 uh, becomes here iota and we write this is square root of 39 times of iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are the one real root is t equals 4 and the other two are the complex roots. And this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to, to my channel for more exciting videos.